So what is 3D mixed reality content? We've been hearing a lot about augmented reality, and we've been seeing the tags and the natural feature tracking um, stuff out there. We consider augmented reality to be kind of a facet of experience design. And I think it's a horribly exciting area. Um, we like to expand it out to say the idea of mixed reality in the sense that mixed reality is, is the idea that uh, the platform that we developed is, is it basically, there's a virtual environment that coexists with the physical environment. That means that one inch in the virtual environment equals one inch in the virtual environment. And each, both environments are spatially aligned with each other. So um, we decided to do that because we wanted to create an environment where things were very intuitive to the, uh, to the participants uh, and it represented uh, a way that we could create a um, and I'll go into a couple of examples, a, a mirror image of the, uh, of the physical environment, but in ways that you can do very, very creative virtual things. And I'm going to show a couple of examples because I think you guys, um, creative, uh, creative minds, will come up with some things that are pretty exciting. So um, I'll run through that. So uh, one of the first things is, is so geosynchronous vir virtual reality. Um, that's pretty much what I, I just described. It's the idea of looking through a window at a cartoon version of the world. That's probably the easiest way I can describe it. Um, uh, you can do so many other things with it, but the idea that you can actually take a replica of the environment and creatively express yourself however you would like. If you'd like a body floating within the within the, the environment, you can have a body floating within the environment. If you'd like to color the environment differently, you can. And so we've put together a couple of comps that kind of take this idea and show what potentially could be done. So one of the ideas is, is you're in a movie theater lobby, and how about walking into a movie theater lobby, or you walk up to a display, and this is all, uh, it's a, um, I should qualify the sense that we call it experience proximity because as you approach the display, it actually captures you and tracks you, and that's the way we achieve a lot of what we do. So it, it behaves just like a normal display when you're away from it, but as you approach it, get within you know, 10 or 15 feet of the display, it actually recognizes that you're approaching the display and, and reacts accordingly. So the, the experience that we want to achieve is, is the idea that Iron Man could land in the theater lobby with you, and you could actually interact with him. Um, in a similar way, and rendered high, beautiful high-resolution content on displays that uh, um, are available today. So another idea here is, is the idea of, uh, um, we call this mixed reality placemaking. There's also in-context merchandising and rich internet applications. So let me explain those very quickly. Uh, the idea here is, is that mixed reality uh, placemaking. If you're an REI, you have the ability of walking through REI and say, I'm looking at this tent, but I actually am able to look through the display and see what the tent would look like as I'm camping in the sequoias. And so the idea is, is as you approach the display, it will track you and now you're actually seeing a 3D representation of the tent perfectly registered in the environment with the sequoias. So you're feeling like it's a mixed reality experience and you're able to do all of the rich media web content within that display. So if you wanted to be able to, um, let's say uh, Lodgepole and the Sequoias had a couple of campsites available for that weekend, they could actually make that available so you're walking through R REI and you have a co-branding uh, uh, situation where somebody could walk up with their mobile phone and you know, captivating on that moment of, uh, of um, um, uh, basically the person walking through it and now they're captive by, captivated by the display, they can engage with the display and actually make that reservation for that weekend. Let me see. This one's kind of fun. Um, so imagine being in an, uh, an Audi showroom, and the idea is, is that we have a product called uh, uh, Proximity Vista, which is the large display walls in the background. And imagine a display in front of a vehicle, which we call Proximity Lens. The idea here is, is that as you approach the, the front display, there is a commercial which we're calling we're trying to coin the, coin the phrase a hybrid commercial in the sense that it's, it's recorded as traditional photography, but what we do is we take a, a model of the car, we take the camera tracking from the scene, and we actually bring that all into real time. So you have the ability to, to, as you walk up to the display, an edit happens in the commercial where you don't particularly realize, but you actually now have the ability to interact with the car and do your car co configurator type uh, uh, actions with the vehicle as it's working in, in the commercial 
uh, the photographic commercial. So here we actually thought it would be nice if the actual virtual car was perfectly aligned with the car in the environment. So I feel like I'm changing the color, I'm pulling the, the, uh, the car back to look at the engine, I'm doing other things while it's perfectly aligned with the vehicle in the environment. So I feel like I'm actually getting information based on the, uh, the car that's in context with me in the environment. So that was it. That's kind of a way of how the, the two screens can work together um, to create a, a spatial relationship with the actual product uh, in the marketplace. Um, one of the other things that's really fun to do, and Microsoft has been doing some fun work with this in the sense that it's the idea of time, time sliding. So with a display, if you were on the, the deck of the Missouri, you actually could render perfectly spatially registered with the environment the idea that uh, December 7th, 1941 was happening, happening as you were looking through and you kind of see how, what that experience was.